Right, I'm in St Mary's Church at Feltwell. They've just had a funeral and they've left the door open all day. But there's two churches. There's one up the road called St Nicholas. I can't, because I never brought any details with me, I can't remember where the Whitmores were mainly located. But I have located um, some Whitmores at the front of the church in this churchyard here. Um, at the section four, there's some graves here. But um, they're not in alphabetical order, any of these. I'm just having a very quick look through um, for Whitmores. There's nobody in that particular section. Um, but in this one, they're buried at, um, and there's inscriptions about them as well. Um, Whitmore. <laughs> they're on sort of, there we are, look. Graves 42, 41, up to 46 there. Eliza, Elizabeth, George, Henry, Jane, John, Maria, Mary, Robert and William. <clears throat> this is a great possibility that this is the Whitmores. And there's um, inscriptions as well. If we turn to number 40, if we get to page... Yeah, John Whitmore died October the 30th, 1875, aged 70. Henry Whitmore died January the 1st, 1884, aged 52, also of Maria Whitmore, wife of the above, who died February the 2nd, 1884, aged 42. They died very close together, didn't they? Also of George, their beloved third son, who died when passenger on the P.O. S.S. Victoria of Adelaide, Australia, January the 1st, 1902, aged 33. There's Elizabeth of John and Mary Whitmore, who died March the 2nd, 1850, aged 13. Eliza, faithful wife of Joshua Hells and daughter of William and Elizabeth Whitmore, who died 11th of Feb, 1840, aged 19. Also Betsy, daughter, died February the 28th, 1840. Robert, the son of William and Elizabeth Whitmore, who died July the 20th, 1841, aged 27. Mary Whitmore, who died the 4th of November, 1897, aged 93, and daughter of Jane Whitmore, who died April, aged 18, Elizabeth Taylor, late of Lynn, who died February the 24th, 1873, aged 93. So that's <coughs> the main ones there. I just <coughs> put my name in the book. Uh, 24th of the 4th, 18. <coughs> so I've just put that down. I'm just going to do a video in case anyone comes in. So I'm doing this on behalf of Jolene Duncan, Georgia, and Dave Lockwood, because it's his family, a Whitmore, I believe, who married a Chapman, or something like that, or, no, I'm not quite sure, actually, because I haven't brought any information with me, but there's Jane Whitmore who married somebody, and her ancestors were from here. So this is St. Mary's, but there is another church called St. Nicholas. And once again, I can't remember which of those churches. They're impressive, aren't they? I haven't seen full-size statues like that before. Hmm. Very impressive. This is my, I'm going, I'm going back to Somerset today, but uh, usually I go and visit Borough Green anyway. So it won't really make much difference, except it does get dark a little bit earlier. There's a brass rub in there. 
I'll do a video first. In case anyone comes in, you see. I'm just having a look. I think the Whitmores were farmers. Uh, yes, yeah, Spark. That seems to be a familiar name in here. Right, I'm going to take some trailer for a minute and take some pictures.